Last video, we went ahead and we added the payroll functionality so we could add in our first week and our second week hours, and then we could process it and give us out our regular pay and our overtime pay and our total earnings. In this video, what we're actually doing is I've already gone ahead and done this is I've gotten rid of the date time, uh, in other words, little drop downs, and I've put in a text field and disabled it. In other words, I've added in an edit control. I've set an ID on it and I've disabled it and that's all I've done. So the ID I'm working with right here is TXT pay period is what I've called it and like I said before I've gone over to behavior and set disable to true. Next what we want to do is we want to auto load the dates. So I've called this pay period. Most of the time when you get paid, you get paid on a bi-weekly. In other words, every two weeks you get paid. And in most cases, it starts on either the 1st or it starts on the 15th. It's got to be like a two week, so you get paid every 14 days. So to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and come over to the on init dialog. Scroll on down until you find to do add extra initialization here. After that, you want to put in your code for what you want to actually initialize. I've already gone ahead and done this, so I'm going to copy this line. I'm going to copy this line, and I'm going to paste it right in that init, or right underneath the initialization to do. So now let's go back and see what it is I've actually done. This is a very straightforward, simple task. I went to tutorials point and I figured out the time now function, which it takes in time now, I believe it's 1970, the first of the first of the month. And so that's what that comes in. And then we set a pointer. So we go TM, which is a struct created in the time T functionality. And then we go ahead and we set a pointer called LTM is equal to local time and then the memory location which is the and sign for now. So whatever the memory location of now is. Next what we do is we're saying okay the int day is equal to LTM and then it points to ref in other words it references the container for the struct and says okay TM day within the struct so if you're used to other languages that would be like member variables within your class environment or within your yeah, generally your class environment or your object. So day or month, and then we do the same thing with month for year. Make sure you set it at 1900 plus whatever the current year is. Otherwise, you'll get 1970. It'll just cause you errors. And then we initialize start date at the first of the month and then the end day at 14 days. So by default, the pay period is going to be from the 1st to the 14th. Now, if the day is greater than the 14th, of course, we're going to start the pay period on the 15th. So if it's halfway through the date, maybe it's the 24th, maybe it's the 25th, your pay period is still going to start on the 15th, and then it's going to end on the 29th for this example. So no more than 29 days for that month of being paid. You can do more equations, or you can do a simple search on the Internet to figure out how to get the current month and day of if it's 29 days, 30 days, or 31 days, but that's up to you. I'm just going to do a simple equation like this, and then we set it. So next what we do is we go C time object, we'll call pay start, and we set there are six parameters that you'll apply in, the year, the month, and the start day, and then hour, minute, second. We don't need to deal with hour, minute, second. Then we convert this to a string, and we format it at the full four digits of the year, so it would be... 1999 or 2017 which it's done and then forward slash which I have here percent M means two digit digit month so right now I'm in the sixth month and then two digit day same thing for pay end and then C string pay end format year month day and then I've gone ahead and concatenated it so we have the start um, concatenation space hyphen space and then the end and then we go ahead and use this set dialog text or set dialog item text function again and we pass in our C string right here which is pay range and we assign it to the text period so if we jump on back we save this 
and run it, we should get an output of the six month. I may actually get the fifth, so I have to check to see if I've done this incorrect, and that'll probably help you as well. So it's giving me the fifth, which means I have to increment the current month. So let's go ahead, let's go back and increment the current month. Go ahead and run it again. This time it should give me the sixth month. Yep, there we go. 2017, 6, 15, 2017 to 629. Works perfect. Thanks for watching.